The time of spreadsheets is over. A Google search, a passport scan, a barcode reading in a supermarket, your online shopping history, an EKG reading, CCTV footage, a photo of a sandwich, a voice message, a tweet. All of these contain data that can be collected, analyzed, and monetized. Supercomputers and algorithms allow us to make sense of increasingly larger amounts of information in real time. In less than 10 years, CPUs are expected to reach the processing power of the human brain. A survey done by the Global Agenda Council on the future of software in society shows that people expect artificial intelligence machines to be part of a company's board of directors by 2016. There is a good chance that in 15 years your job is going to be performed by computers, since decisions once based on experience and intuition will be made through machine analysis of massive amounts of data. Think about a vehicle that is able to read its environment and react accordingly much like a human driver, but also analyzing other sources of information that will make the trip safer, faster and more efficient. Analyzing vast amounts of medical data from different locations and demographics will allow to determine which conditions improve the effectiveness of certain treatments and which don't. Big data analysis will reveal patterns and connections that will vastly improve most human activities. But it will also create very detailed profiles for all of us, including information that we'd rather keep private. Will big data make privacy obsolete? Or will it bring trans- The Internet of Things is a system of systems. That means all the electronic devices will be connected to each other in a local area forming a system. And further, these systems will connect to each other forming a bigger network system. Let's see the building blocks of IoT. End devices or nodes. It is an essential part of the IoT or I should say that this is the T or things in the IoT. Mostly these are active sensing devices and actuators which collects the data and perform ground level processing. A few examples could be temperature sensors at home, RFID sensors at a garment store or cameras at the highways and so on. Gateways come local processing nodes. It connects the end nodes to the network or cloud. Ideally, it should not only transfer the data collected from the sensors to the cloud, but should process it to some extent and then forward the relevant data to the cloud for making predictions and inferences. It also provides the intelligence to the end nodes by sending back the data received from the applications or cloud. As IoT is a networked system, connectivity is an essential part of it. Service providers are providing many solutions around IoT to connect the end nodes to the gateways and gateways to the cloud. As this is a duplex system, means the communication works to and fro between applications and hardware. Data or signal also flows in reverse. The connectivity could be a combination of wireless and wired mechanism. For example, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, radio frequency, GSM, Zigbee and so on. Cloud-based application and storage. Cloud or the cloud-based application's job is to compute the collected data, analyze it and make inferences and predictions. Now we'll see how it works. The various sensors or the end nodes collect the data from the field, provide it to the gateway or the local processing unit for a low-level processing and filtering and then the gateway sends the same to the connected cloud for in-depth data analysis and to make inferences. The inferences drawn can be fed back to the sensor or end node and can also be sent to the business application for continuous improvement. The devices are connected via the internet all the while and can communicate seamlessly with each other so that they can make any real-time change as and when required. By 2022, it is expected that more than a trillion sensors will be connected to the internet. If all things are connected, it will shift the way we do business and use resources and will eventually yield massive amounts of data. But who owns this data and how safely will it be kept? By 2020, around 22% of the world's cars will be connected to the internet. By 2024, more than 50% of home internet traffic will be used by appliances and devices.
what is cloud computing? You've probably heard the term cloud computing but never really understood what it meant. After all, what do clouds have to do with computers? One way to think about the cloud is to treat it as another word for online. So storing your data on the cloud is just another way of saying you store your data online. With web-based emails like Gmail or Yahoo Mail, your email sits on their servers and you can access it anywhere you have an internet connection. In other words, your email is on the cloud. So things like Gmail and Yahoo Mail could be thought of as email on the cloud. And it's the same for storing photos. In the past, you stored photos on your computer, on your own hard disk, and if you lost your computer, you lost your photos. Now, you have Flickr that allows you to store your photos online. Or in other words, it allows you to store your photos on the cloud. Email and photo storage are just examples of the many things we do online these days. We have accounting software, video editing software, even word processing software, all operated through your web browser. With things like Google Docs and Office 365, we've even moved word processing and Excel spreadsheets online so you can create, edit, save and collaborate all your documents on the cloud. The only software you need installed on your own computer would be a web browser and that's it. Modern technology allows people to communicate directly. Voice and video calls, emails, pictures and instant messages travel directly from A to B, maintaining trust between individuals no matter how far apart they are. When it comes to money, people have to trust a third party to be able to complete a transaction. Blockchain technology is challenging the status quo in a radical way. By using math and cryptography, blockchain provides an open, decentralized database of any transaction involving value. The uses of blockchain technology are endless. Some expect that in less than 10 years it will be used to collect taxes. It will make it easier for immigrants to send money back to countries where access to financial institutions is limited. Financial fraud will be significantly reduced, as every transaction will be recorded on a public and distributed ledger, which will be accessible by anyone who has an internet connection. Today, the internet has evolved into a massive global system essential to our daily lives, global commerce and national security. With technology advancing every day, our society is becoming more connected than we have ever been before. While these advances are making our daily lives easier, they are also adding extra risk to our personal information. Most people do not think about their identities getting stolen when they make an online purchase, check their email or use social media. However, each time that you put your personal information on the internet, you are at risk of that information getting stolen. 